Practical Patriots and Practical Preppers. Yochate Gross aus Texas. Hey folks, John Practical Nurse. Okay, today's video is a discussion video. I want you to, to include in your comments what you noticed. Things that were missing during the great panic demic of 2020. Okay, I came, a little, came across a little bit extra money, so I decided to kind of wrap up my preps a little bit of things that I saw were short or completely missing. All right, let's start over here. One thing I noticed that was very short supply was ammunition. Now you'll notice that I have 556 over here, 545 by 39, and then 9mm. Most of you know that I'm mostly an AK shooter. I love my AK-74, I love my AKM, commonly known as the AK-47. Um, <clears throat> I do have a couple of ARs and I do have a 9mm. But because they were so short, I decided to pick up a batch of uh, 5.56 ammunition and a batch of 9mm. Were you able to find any ammunition? Uh, I'm grateful that I got a little shipment in from SG Ammo, but again, a little bit of the extra money I had, I decided to put on ammunition. I was also a very responsible adult and paid some bills, <laughs> which can be boring. Uh, mags. I noticed that mags were kind of short supply. So I picked up a couple extra of those. And these are rep representations of my three favorite kinds of mags right here. Uh, comp block, military, military issue. And of course, this one. Y'all very, <laughs> don't have to go into much detail about that one. x -Tech Tactical. One of my favorite, my favorite U.S. made mag. And this is an AC Unity for my uh, AK-74 but you can't see it right now, but it does have uh, the bolt hold open follower on it. Really like that. My favorite AK-74 mag so far. <coughs> X-Tech Tactical. <coughs> okay. Anyhow, moving on over here. Money was definitely short supply of. Uh, I am fortunate I have an occupation that is in demand. Uh, there's never enough medical people sometimes when things happen. Uh, pandem panic, pandemic, pandemic, whatever you want to say. Definitely was short supply of money. Okay. Personal medical equipment. This right here is a thermometer. Thermometer. <laughs> Tomatoes, tomatoes, okay. Um, this is one that you can just scan somebody. It has actually no contact. This is a no contact. Uh, I say thermometer, y'all. Please forgive. Medical items, okay. Definitely we're in short supply. Personal hygiene items were definitely short supply. I will remember 2020 as also as the great toilet paper famine. Uh, watching people duke it out over toilet paper was just ridiculous, y'all. Canned items I noticed were missing. And I have an interesting story for, for you all of you who do not follow my Facebook page or my uh, Instagram account. Fresh produce was short supply. I raised my own chickens. And I had a really interesting situation, and some people may call it scary, but to me, nothing that ever got out of hand. Fella just shows up one morning. I get up, I go out to my front porch, I look over to my chicken coop, and he's looking inside my chicken coop. This guy not only does not introduce himself, he just says, looks me dead in the eye and says, how much do you want for your chickens? And we have a little conversation, you know, no, they're not for sale. Uh, he says, well, you should give me some eggs and a couple of your chickens. This is not a would you please or anything that we as Texans know as neighborly or polite. He's just demanding. And his excuse, I told him, hey, you're being rude. Uh, his excuse was, well, people like you who have more should give people who like me who have less something. Uh, how about you go get a job and, uh, you know, uh, get your own? It's how I did it. Okay. Uh, I just I just don't understand it. This, but that's proof about how desperate people can be and how dangerous desperate people can be. You know, again, was he ever a threat to me? No, not as far as I was concerned, because I kindly pointed the way you can leave the way you came in. Uh, personal defense items were definitely short supply. Okay. So you, you look at all these things right here. These were the things that I noticed. What did you notice that was missing? Short supply that you are now considering adding to your stash of prepper, you know, uh, emergency supplies, you know, let's go over this again, ammo, mags, you know, personal medical equipment, medical supplies, cash, 
How many people stowed up enough cash to get them through this? A lot of people, a lot of my friends had to stop working, some of my family. They're, they're, where they worked, they, they closed down, and they were without work. So money. You could probably even say gold, but you know, money was easier to use. Uh, fresh produce, personal hygiene items, toilet paper. Oh, my gosh. That, there's memes out there about that. And just basically canned goods in general were all short supply, personal protection items. Okay? What did you notice was missing? Questions and comments, leave them below. Until I see you all again, I'm Johnny Practical Nurse. Hey, don't forget to ramp up all supplies if you get a little extra cash because you never know when you're going to need them. And definitely, folks were getting desperate enough to come out here and try to take things that didn't belong to them or demand things that didn't belong to them. Until I see you all again, Johnny Practical Nurse, out here.